So Fiji are through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup, but it was not plain sailing for them whatsoever. And actually, this video is more about Portugal because they have been brilliant this World Cup. They've just got their first ever victory at the major tournament. They have entertained. They have surpassed people's expectations, I think, in all honesty. So I'm going to be mainly talking about them in this video and then very slightly throwing it ahead to the quarterfinal between England and Fiji and what this result maybe does to people's expectations of that game as well. So drop a comment down below, in particular on Portugal. They are one of the success stories of this World Cup. So I'm sure many of you will have plenty of good things to say about them. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and like the video. Let's get into it. So originally, I wasn't actually planning on doing a video this evening, so it might be a bit shorter than normal, but I just felt it was only right, really. And I haven't spoken about Portugal too much on the channel throughout the World Cup so far. Uh, no real reason for that, just probably haven't got round to it. I was at the Wales-Portugal game, but was there with friends, so didn't do a video after that. And this is a, a World Cup that a lot of the time has reminded us or has highlighted the differences between the best sides in the world and everyone else. And there has been discussions throughout the pool stages, throughout the first five weeks of this World Cup, I think, about where the game of rugby is in terms of those nations that need more game time against tier one teams, that need more opportunity and funding and all that sort of thing. And all those concerns and all those conversations are completely valid. But I think Portugal have just been a breath of fresh air for the competition and for the game in terms of where it is going, that these nations who don't have the rugby pedigree of some of the other countries in the world, but they can still come in and just be such brilliant entertainment because they've been good against everyone. You look at how they pushed Wales and Wales had to score a couple of tries late on to get the five point win against them. They drew against Georgia again. They'll probably feel they should have won. They played well against Australia as well. And then they've just beaten Fiji, who have, at times have looked brilliant so far in this World Cup. So from a Portugal perspective, it is just awesome. And it's been so good to see, well, a couple of different things. Number one, their fans, actually. I was sat by a number of Portugal fans in that match in Nice against Wales. And they were brilliant. I think as a fan base, they have added so much to this World Cup. Anyone who has been to matches involving Portugal or has been in cities where Portuguese fans have been there, I think would attest to that. They've been awesome to be around and to soak up the atmosphere they've created at matches and at this World Cup. And the second part of it, I think, is a number of their players. If we want to talk about Suso Guedes, the fullback, Martins in the forwards, their winger, I forget his name now, forgive me, but they've got so many players, I think, that have really stood up and proven how good they are. will come out of this World Cup with a huge amount of credit. I hope a lot of those players, they're not all professional. That's the thing a lot of people forget about these teams like Portugal. A lot of those guys aren't professional. Thomas Appleton, the captain, works in a hospital, I believe. So he's not even a full-time professional rugby player. And they've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Fijians, some of the most terrifying rugby players in the world. They've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best-funded nations in the world in terms of Australia and in terms of Wales as well. So Portugal, huge thumbs up. I just hope we can build upon it. And I know those are discussions and concerns that we will have over the years in terms of rugby. We all want to see there be a, a more level playing field. But Portugal have proven why that is the case. Imagine what they could do with, with more support, more funding and more games against some of the top teams in the world. So utterly, utterly brilliant from Portugal. I'll move on to Fiji because they have been excellent so far this World Cup, but two defeats, two victories in Pool C. They go through as runners up. We all thought, well, they'll easily get the one point, point they need to leapfrog the Wallabies. Wasn't easy in the end for them. I'd imagine that Wallabies team were probably watching the game and thinking, blimey, we could be heading to a quarter final against England in Marseille here, as improbable as that would have been. But Fiji do go through, and I think the vast majority of people, apart from Australian fans, will feel that that is something that is also good for the competition. Fiji's first quarter final since 2007, a country, again, kind of linking back to what I was saying about Portugal, that people want to see develop, want to see be more consistent. So for them to get to a quarter final, I think, is a good thing. 
But what does it do to the expectations in that quarterfinal now? Over this next week, what does it do to how people view England and how people view Fiji? Because had Fiji, I think, won comfortably tonight, you could have quite reasonably made the argument that Fiji would be favourites for the quarterfinal. Now, I think that could still be the case when you think about the fact that they beat England at Twickenham in a World Cup warm-up just before the tournament. But the fact that England have won all the matches in their pool, the fact that Fiji have lost two of the four they've played, does it just change the balance of expectation and what people maybe expect in that quarterfinal? Does it change the narrative going into the game? And maybe Fiji can go in as the underdogs and all of a sudden the pressure might be on England as the favourites going into the game. Let me know what you make of that in the comments section. But overall, this video is about Portugal and they deserve all the plaudits that they have got and they will continue to get from their performance at this World Cup. They've been brilliant. So you can pay tribute to them in the comments. And make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. And I'll see you in the next one.